Alright, now we don't focus your ball. Marcus on 205. Numbers after the name. Man, my dude, Osiris. I'm gonna call him Osiris. Even though I spelled a little bit weird over here, man. Uh, this boss fight was interesting, man. So, this is like after I, I don't know what it's called, like the King's Graveyard or some stuff like that. It kind of, or at least to me, it seemed like an optional area because you kind of continue without going there. Uh, I believe this is towards end game. I'm not sure. I haven't been the game yet. I'm pretty confident it's a towards end game kind of area just because all of a sudden I'm picking up Titanite chunks everywhere and dudes are like mad, like vicious and mean all over the place. So I'm like, ah, I guess this is kind of the end. Uh, getting to this dude was wild. Like, like there was some like tough like enemies, and I'm like, Man, these guys are crazy over here. And then you get into this boss fight with this dude. The geometry is weird in this boss fight. Like, I had kind of issues with it. I beat it, I think, second or third try. Maybe, maybe like second or third try. Well, you know, I may have been first try. Now I think about it. I don't really remember dying. I think it may have been first. It may have been first or second try. But it may have been first try. Because I remember getting to, like, the fall door or something like that. And then just turning around and then being like, hold up. Let me go cash out these souls and I'll come back in here. Uh, yeah, something like that. First or second try. Either way. Uh, the geometry was weird, man, because he kept kind of like coming up on like the side things, and I'd be like hacking at him, and I'd just be missing because he's like a little bit higher up than what I'm like expecting, and I'm like, man, what the hell's wrong with this dude? Like, stay put. He's talking about like a baby. You don't really see the baby. You hear the baby. I don't know what's going on with the baby. I'm sure there's a cool story behind it. I don't really know it. Uh, I was just like kind of creeped out, and I felt like a little bit bad sometimes. I'm like, should I really be killing this dude? Like, he seems to be going through some shit right now. Like, I don't really know if he needs me coming in over here with my axe, just like hacking him down. I don't know if that's like necessarily helping out his cause, anything like that. Uh, it's a little bit, a little bit difficult. Uh, he gets a little bit aggro. It's kind of crazy because the, the, ge ge the geometry of the map, um, how he moves, where like he'll like create like large amounts of spaces. Like, I'm used to like Dark Souls like enemies where I can like really get in on and like they have maybe an AoE attack that I have to leave. But not necessarily them, like, literally just going to the other side of the map. I felt like sometimes you'd hear this baby call, and he'd just, like, spread over there. And I'd be, like, staying on the other side. I'm like, uh, yo, yo, my dude, like, you, you remember this fight we doing over here? Or, like, you, you want to take, like, a timeout? Like, what do you think about it? Uh, so, patience. Uh, I would even two-hand maybe sometimes because I feel like you can dodge a lot of his stuff. And I spent most of the time dodging rather than, like, blocking uh necessarily uh keep your stamina up for this one i mean you always want to keep your stamina up for all of them but like specifically for this one like because you're gonna have to do like a little bit of running and stuff like that so just be a little bit careful uh what i would do a lot is i'd kind of run after and then uh hit him with like my kind of slash attack uh, as part of the run so i could at least like i was already kind of screwing the stamina side but at least i get that attack and kind of go another one i like this aoe attack that he had over here because it did allow me to maybe for a couple seconds get under him and actually put some damage which is kind of what i wanted to do uh so if you could kind of lure him to do that that'll buy you a little bit of time uh i don't really i imagine like the head's probably his weakest spot but i obviously don't want to be around there because he's kind of going crazy around there so i kind of did a lot of back leg i did a lot of just underbelly kind of attack i did a lot of just anywhere that i could actually hit the dude attack kind of thing uh, not the most difficult, uh, but a weird fight. And, and I, I, was, I felt like a little bit bad after I killed him. I was like, ah, I don't really know if I should have done that. He kind of attacked me, I guess. And I think it's an optional area, but it's strange. 